Hey, welcome to back to cloudy.email again. So in the previous video, as you remember, we discussed what, why, and how for the cloudy. So as promised in this video, I would like to share the process of how to sign up. You know, easily you can follow. And most importantly, um, the, the, uh, what, ha what you can expect after you log in. So I will give you a little bit tour. So let's do that. Um, let's start with the pricing. Um, so as again, if you have Amazon AWS and I'm a, a SES Simple Email Services set up, please choose one of this pricing. If not, you can choose one of this. So if you choose one of this, we will set up the SMTP for you. Price is a little bit higher, but uh, you don't have to set up with Amazon, we will do it for you. So depending on your need, you can choose either of them. For me, uh, since we have Amazon, so I'm just going to go for this. You have to go in step by step. I'm not going to do that since all of you did it. Um, but you just follow the steps and it will sign you out to the specific um, plan. In my case, I just go back and try to log in with the same. If you're testing Cloudy, you can use the same login email. Just be sure that um, it has a limit. You cannot. You can only use for test purposes. So email is testy at cloudy.email. And the password is the same as this one, testy. Let's do. So once you log in, this is what you see. Uh, probably you also see a warning on the left side. Left side, is if you've chosen Amazon Web Services to sign up for Amazon, and for that you have to go to the settings. And this is the field you have to sign up. You go to so there is a tutorial how to go in four steps once you do it will generate you the amazon uh, uh, aws access key id sick and amazon simple email region so first you have to go and sign up it's a free sign up once you sign up then you have to watch this video I mean, there's like a 40 second video where you can uh, how you can connect your amazon uh, simple email service to cloudy once you do that, if you're following that, you will get um, you will get this key which you can put on top here, key ID and a secret, and you choose your region. However, just know that once you sign up, by default you're on the Amazon sandbox, right? You can write them the email. This we have provided for you. Of course, you have to change it how many you need emails you send to send and your website. If you want, you can also use your own template. Is something you can we made it provide for you to make it easier. So you have to contact them. It usually takes 24 hours to 48 hours for you to enable your account. Once it's done, you're ready to go. And um, once your account is active, you will see the stats something like this. You can see your region, how many emails you can send, how many you send to this is a this are daily quotas, so you know. As you can see in my account, I have 50,000 available on this specific account. Um, today we sent only one email to test. Send rate is uh, 14, second, uh, 14 emails per second. So this is something you can change but as your account and they will be sure you're abiding by the rules. Anyway, so for now, uh, this is how you sign up. So this is the first crucial step. Without this, you will not be able to send emails. You will not be able to, as far as a member, you will not be able to say create campaign. So first, you have to fix that issue. So after that, you will have something like this. As you can see, your monthly credits will be shown here and the email sent in this month. In my case, as I said, it's a test account, so it's a very limited. And um, on the dashboard, this is where you see your email campaigns, how many people have received, and this, is it sent or still sending, how many unit opens, unit click, and you can either duplicate your campaign or delete it if you want to. And the under templates, you can see the templates were made for you. You can preview them easily, something like this. If you like, all you need to do is just use this button and you will be using that uh, template. And some templates are good for just for text, some are good for products if you have. Um, however, I'm going to show you a cool feature where 
you can actually build your own template from scratch. So for now, um, you can use any of this. So before you send an email, you need to create a list, right? So you can do by creating a list. In this case, let me create a list of test. And here, there are two ways to import subscribers. Either you can do via CSV, you can download simple CSV. Usually you have to put the name and the email in this folder and you can import them. It could be hundreds and thousands, so it automatically imports for you. Or if you're importing just a couple, you can import them just like this by putting the name, column, and the email on the one line. So if you're importing 10 emails, it should be on a 10 line. If you are based in Europe, you have to apply the GDPR rules, just click on it and add. The rest will be taken care of for you. So that's for email list reports on those. Once you begin to send emails, you will see your reports here. Um, so for now, as we said from the beginning, Cloudy is designed in simplicity in mind. So you, you, there, you don't have all the other things um, which you may not know as a marketer. So we focus on just mass email sending. As you can see, we have all the four menus and nothing else. Let's go back to the dashboard. Here you will see some of your draft campaigns, so you can create a new one. In my case, um, I can create a new one. So here's the thing I promised. As, as I said, you can use the um, our templates, or even better, you can use this to build anything you want. For example, this is like a drag and drop email, like a template builder. Here is the, of course, you can change with your own logo. Um, or you can just click here, and this is the image. You can upload the image from your computer or for URL. You can change the width of the logo, as you can see I'm doing. You can align them left, right, middle. And this is the links where you send them. And there are so many features, which I will not be able to cover, of course, in one in one video. So, But you can see how you look on mobile, so on the desktop, what made them so easy for you. And then this is the image element, right? And again, the same thing. Here you will see the heading, here you will see the normal text, the button, and the, we suggest don't move this, you can unsubscribe here, because this is the link where people, if you don't want to receive your emails, they can easily unsubscribe from here. So one more thing I want to show here is that, what if, imagine this is a template, it's a starting template, you can change it to anything you want. For example, let's say, first thing you can change the body. Of your uh, email you can, you can change the text color as you can see my text in black if I want something text let's say green I just click here as you can see all the text changed which is not natural so I'm just gonna put them back to black and um, background color is white you can also change it to again to green um, if you need to but in my case I just keep it simple as white and here is the content width it's like 500 which is normal just keep it that because just remember, all our templates are also optimized for mobile as well. But if you want to, just in case you want to change it, you can do it like this. As you can see, everything takes effect in front of your eyes. And the content is, right now, normally is aligned in center. You can change that. Here you can change your font. You can change the side available fonts for you. Let's change Helvetica, for example. And emit the, the, the effect takes place right away. Um, this is the link color. If you use a link, this is the color of your link. I'm going to change to this one, which is closer to our branding. So this is all body changes here. Then you can you can see the blocks here. We made one block for you, but if you want to see all the blocks, you can see. So blocks are those that how many elements you can put in one uh, row, as you can see, and or you could actually use this one as well. If you want to for example let's see I want to use the columns here and I can choose this is just one column if I want to change two I can do that as you can see kind of put two images for example right and that's how easy that is and um, then let's imagine let's put a let's put some text here I want to put a button you see on that column and the next one, I want to put, let's say, text. 
So this is how it works. And for whatever reason is you can as you can see you can you can also move them. Just the row this. I'm moving the rows. So as you can see, I just move to the bottom. If I want to, I can move upper. So you can see I think the whole section because that's why this one is moving. And for whatever reason I want to duplicate, I can use this. I use this element duplication or I can delete it. Or I can delete the whole thing if I don't want any of this as well. Just like that. So that was the intro. This is how the cloud looks like. So now let's try to send test email. I'm not going to go into the each element, uh, but you can try and play with one of the examples. For example, this one is heading. As you know, this is a heading. This is if you have custom HTML, you can use it inside your email. This is for image. This is normal text. And this is a menu. Menu is something actually you can use. Imagine you can use your, let me do it here, like your page. For example, I can say home page, right? This is how you can use it. And like another image here, you can say contact, etc. And here you put your URL and how you want it on the same tab or the new tab. And this is could be on the just under your logo if you wanted to include it in your emails, for example. So um so now uh, one thing before we go, you can easily preview that. Uh, right now, this is how it looks on mobile. If you want to see uh, sorry in the desktop, if you want to see on mobile, all you have to click on it. You see the way this button, these are the previews. And now let's try to send a test email. Let's go uh, testing cloudy, right? Um, these are all set up for you. Uh, you can not able to change it. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can change it on your account, but not here. You can tracking the opens and clicks. If you want other custom tags, you can use them here. But for now, we'll just keep it simple. Save and continue. Uh, so I can send the email to my list or I can test it. As you can see, in this case, I will be testing. Uh, so this is how you will see the email coming. So let me see if you can see my screen. So by that, this email, it will send to your domain. And you can see the email. It, it looks something like this. You can again see it here. This is how it, it would look like. So this is it. This is the, the tour, how the cloud looks like after you sign up. If you have questions, we are here to answer. You can write to us or you can chat with us at any time. Having said that, all the best.